Yo everybody, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another fly time video. I did have all my threads set up but I've just noticed I've pulled it back out of my bobbin. I apologise but we'll get this sucked through and uh, we'll crack on with the video. So in this video we're going to be tying a super simple buzzer, properly super simple, and it is going to be one of these. It's basically a wicked white with an orange head, super super simple fly to tie but uh, very rewarding at the same time. Yeah, I actually used to tie these for a close friend of mine who unfortunately passed away last year. And they used them with great success. Definitely a lot better buzzer fisherman than myself. So anyway, the body on this fly is going to be this. We're actually using some UTC thread. This is a 140. The reason I'm using a 140 is so I can finish this fly. I want to get this fly done. Like These flies for me when I tie these, like I want them done within a couple of minutes. So we'll start the UT. Oh, sorry, the hook I've got in here. This is a Fuller Mill. I'll show you the box on this one. This is a heavyweight grub. In number ten. I'm going to start the thread behind the eye. If I actually bother to tighten the hook and the vise first, hook behind the eye. I'm just going to wind this thread about halfway back. Grab your scissors. Just trim off the excess. And now just continue to work the thread down, 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 around about halfway around the bend. And then you can start working the thread back up. This is all you need for the body of this fly. You do not need any more thread than this. That will do the, for the whole fly on the body pretty much. But the thorax is slightly different. So you take your thread all the way forward. But what you do is you just leave half a millimetre or so just to the end so you don't actually go that, that full way forward and we take our thread back so your thorax maybe starts where the hook opposite the hook point about there so now you come forward again this is how I get the taper on mine then I come back but I stop short stop like half a thread turn or a thread turn short back up come down stop short back up to the top come back just stop short and that's how you get your buzzer heads all you've got to do is come in, just do a one or a two turn whip finish, grab your scissors, trim off. Now, next step is the next the head thread. This is Textream AO in fluorescent hot orange. And all you need to do is put this thread at the eye, and then one, two, three, four, five, just six turns, just to secure this tag end in. Come in, trim off the excess. Now we're just basically going to create like a head here. So just creating this nice little bright hot spot head. I don't know why these worked so well, but they really did, you know, you used them for great success and great effect. And that will do. Now, because you want that conical shape of the head, basically all you're doing is working your whip finish from forward to back. And you get to the back, just do two or three extra turns. And you get that kind of almost like that taper from back to front. Come in, trim off your excess. So see, super simple that step of the fly. You don't need to make these crazy complicated. You can do up to you, whatever works. But anyway, next step I'm actually using some super gel by Rimmel. So I'm just going to give it a shake. This is a white varnish. I'm going to have to actually let this dry, so I'll put it on there, let it dry, and then I'll start the video recording again once it's dry. So you need to be careful with this. I use my thumb just to brace it. I don't want no, I don't want that absolutely crazy huge white patch on there. I want just enough. There you go, see? And then again on the other side. Oops, a bit of white varnish has dropped on me freaking carpet. I'll have to get that back out in a second. I can't believe that. Oh well, I'll be getting told off by the wife. And do the same on the other side, just dab it on. So there we go. There's our cheek on that side. Now I'm going to let this dry and I'll come back instantaneously for you, but it's going to be a few minutes for me. So now our fly is dry, the varnish on there is set, the white varnish. We can use some Gulf Thinman. 
Now all we need to do is just I'm going to put like a kind of like a line down the back. And I'll put some on the head there. And then what I'll do is I'll grab my dubbing needle. And I'll just try and work the resin round. It's just basically working it around the body. I'm going to put a tiny weeny little bit more just on like the underside of the thorax or the head, whatever you want to call it. Now actually when you're coming over the cheeks, just like don't kind of be rough with the like rough with the tool just over the cheeks because sometimes, I don't know why, but even with varnish sometimes you can kind of scrape the uh, cheeks off very slightly. I'm just putting a tiny bit more resin onto my dubbing needle. I'm just basically working working my way around the fly. It doesn't have to be like crazily perfect. So that's with the resin on. Now you need to grab a UV torch. Move here. And then just come in with a UV torch. And just make sure you set the resin on there. I've got it perfect. You'll see I've kind of smudged it on the head very slightly up here. But it might make a difference. The fish don't care. But just come in with that torch. Set your UV resin on the body there. That should do us. Last but not least, as I always do, just in case I miss any spots on the fly with the resin, I come in with some veneard brush coat or any varnish, whatever varnish you use. And just do like a final finishing coat over the top as like a protection layer. So I want these flies to last, I don't want them to fall apart, I want them to really last properly. And that should do us. So there you have it, super simple wicked white. You know, give this one a go. It'll really, really work on your salt waters. You know, try it maybe fishing the washing line or underneath the indicator or however you fish your indicators, straight line and whatever. So uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one.